In today's News 9 Kitchen, we're making olive oil mashed potatoes. And to help me do this, I have Guy Tino from the Northeast Cafe. Good morning to you, Guy. Good morning. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thank I'm you. excited about this. Yes. Yeah, so Let's this talk is, about this. This is a great way to do mashed potatoes because you don't need the butter, you don't need the cream. You can salt it as much as you want, and it's delicious. Okay. Super simple, super delicious. Okay. The key is the baked potato it has to be like cooked really well, which just means you can just put a finger dent in it. If you can't dent it, cook it longer. If it's crunchy, it's been cooked for too long. Now, what do you recommend, oven or microwave? Oven. Well, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You no, know, no. Four okay. minutes in the microwave, or you know, twenty minutes in the oven, uh, should be good. Same thing. Yeah, we use the oven because we cook a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> but you could nuke them, and that would be fine. Okay. So it, what I've done here, I've just scooped out the mashed potato, stuck it in this bowl, mm -hmm. and it's really quite simple. Just enough olive oil to kind of give it some moisture. Okay. Only as much salt as you like. Don't even need to put any in there and then pepper to give it that spice. And I think you'll be surprised at how much flavor this mashed potato has. And uh, it's, it's that simple. Well, you, always, you don't always need the butter, right? No, olive no. oil has that same kind of yep, impact give, on food. I think so, and give olive oil the so credit much healthier. it deserves. So Absolutely, much it's good for your skin and hair. That's right. So th on Saturday nights, we're open for dinner and you could get some olive oil mashed potatoes with our ribs and our uh, green wow. beans that were grown right up the street from us. And um, and that's really that simple. I want to talk and, uh, more about the cafe. <laughs> so the cafe uh, is in New Boston. It's right on the water. Uh, you can sit outside on the river, open wow. for breakfast and lunch seven days a week, dinner only on Saturday nights. Uh, we make our own bread. We, make, we roast our own coffee. We make the barbecue sauce. We make the jelly. Uh, we actually make some wine. Next door, we are now a, a licensed winery. So this is sulfate free wine made from whole grapes uh, from Chile or from California. Wow. Um, and then, so you can have that wine along with your dinner. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we do a delivery service, which is only on Tuesdays. You join an email list, northeastcafe at gmail. If you're interested, just email me and I'll put you on the list. Mm -hmm. You get a menu that changes every week of four items, um, chicken, poultry, uh, vegetarian, and fish. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you want. We'll, we'll plate it up for you in a tin like this, cold and oven ready. And, um, wow. and we'll bring it to your house on Tuesday, uh, $20 for four, $15 for two people. And there's some delivery charges. We go out to Henniker and, and to Concord. And so depending on how far away you are, uh, we'll work on it from there. And how would you describe your menu for folks that have never been? Um, regular American fare. Well, okay. Breakfast, lunch, you can have your Western omelet, your over easy eggs. And for lunch, uh, you know, burgers. We do a lot of barbecue and we make the brisket, we make the corned beef. We make the sausage patties, um, but just basically typical down-home American food. And what would you say people love about your restaurant or cafe the most? Uh, well, it's been called the living room of Boston, New Boston. <laughs> so people come down to, to see each other and to hang out and, um, and the barbecue. That's awesome. We want to thank you for being here this morning. Yeah. Everyone has to go down and try these olive oil mashed potatoes. They look absolutely delicious. Delicious. And we thank you so much. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it, guys. We'll be right back.